Joy Cottage was built originally as a farmhouse in the 1830s, the same decade in which Aiken was founded. And uh, what is now the kitchen wing was in fact the whole house. And uh, over time, people added to it. At first, a woman from Charleston named Sarah Joy added to it and made it into a bed, sort of bed and breakfast kind of place. And then the real, the real transitional moment came in the 1890s when a man named William Whitney from New York uh, took a room in Sarah Joy's Country Inn and liked the town and liked uh, the house and the place so much that he bought the inn and began to build. He was at the time one of the major bankers and stockbrokers and deal makers of the world. And he just knew no limits and he just built and built and built and built. So it went from a basically small farmhouse with a few, uh, uh, a few additions to 20,000 plus square feet 60 rooms, and that all happened uh, in the late 1890s and the early 1900s. Bless the town of Aiken for having preserved it, because there were many plans to tear it down or to tear it apart or to, to break it up. Or, so they had, they had successfully beaten back all those attempts over the 10 years before we bought it in 1990. What makes Aiken so unique? I think it's, it's the combination of uh, sort of southern charm and the sort of easygoing, um, friendly atmosphere of a small southern town.